Hi guys, I'm Riviawi. Thanks for clicking my video. If you like this content, I do the same thing live on Twitch five days a week, 2 p.m. till midnight London time. Enjoy the show. This morning, while cleaning out the royal courier pigeon roost, a servant noticed an unfamiliar bird. Attached to its leg was a message. It reads, I am trapped in the tower of an evil wizard. Please, please, please rescue me. My mother, the Queen of Balmorgan, will richly reward you. Scouts confirm that the young prince of Balmorgan recently vanished while on a hunting trip. The reward and goodwill generated by this rescue would do our kingdom well. You need some magic spells if your wizard's go to help you. Okay, thanks for the hint. Some wizards. What do we got? Marketplace library. Fucking wizards. That's so expensive and annoying. I wish I wanted to do this one first, but that villager got eaten by a spider, didn't it? <laughs> Run, what's Ed? This is why I don't like spiders. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Just wizards. You're not a wizard, you'll be fine. Hey Sloth, how you doing? <laughs> doing some old school gaming today. Oh, that's an early werewolf. Ah, oh, that's not good. No, you got it down. I suspect not many people are going to come in here admitting to uh, having played this game because they'll be revealing their age by doing so. <laughs> it's 23 years old, Bethany. <laughs> Get that bloody warrior skilled up. That's one of those levels you sort of throw in gold at it to make the problems go away. Uh, sorry, I just had two things from the at the same time. Yeah, no worries, Sloth. Um, I'm, I'm always down to chat some old school gaming. <laughs> Sorry, do I, would, you know, on all maps, do you build one of each building? It's a complicated question. So some buildings you can't build with other ones. So for example, if you build gnomes, you can't build dwarves or elves. If you build dwarves, dwarves you can't build elves or gnomes. Um, same temples, so when you build a temple, you get locked to two particular types of temples. 
or in the case of Chrome, you get only only Chrome temples, but they're cheaper. Um, so some things will limit other buildings. But do you build every building available to you? For the most part, yeah. Multiple of most, I'd say, even if you if it if it goes like you know a long game. Like, in a very, very long game, you'll build a massive city and, and have, you know, heroes everywhere. But generally, if it goes that long, you've probably done something wrong. in here to protect the path to the palace, maybe. So now you got to research everything in buildings before you can upgrade them. Recently, I played a lot more Majesty 2, and in Majesty 2, there's a lot of quality of life improvements. Things like being able to queue up building heroes. So, just be able to click Gilgo 1, 2, 3, 4, and that will just come out rather than having to you know, remember to go back to it. Which is the difference between Edge Vampires 1 and 2 as well. Yeah, it, it sort of does. It makes it a little bit closer to a normal RTS. Yeah. And that, yeah, that, it's kind of weird in that a lot of old games like this, and I'd even say like Baldur's Gate and Diablo 2, their charm is sort of how difficult they are to navigate. And when you add the conveniences in, it's, um, it, it takes away the charm, even though it, it's making it easier to play and you know, just objectively better to play. Those things that hamper you and get in your way actually kind of make the game what it is. Things like inventory space in Diablo 2 is a good example. Like, they increased inventory space and then found it took away something from the game. And then, you know, obviously in Resurrected they kind of went, well, we shouldn't have the tiny inventory space. We can add a few rows. Which I think is a great sort of compromise. They, they realized that that did actually contribute to the gameplay. And those kind of things you just don't realize contribute to the gameplay. Yeah, I, I find Age of Empires 1 extremely difficult to play. Um, and I had played a lot of hours of Age of Empires 1 before going to Age of Empires 2. But after playing a lot of hours of then Age of Empires 2, I find Age of Empires 1 really, really... I want to say clunky, but it's not really clunky, it's just kind of slow. product of its time. It's still a great game, but it's no doubt a product of its time. I'm using cube for extra in this space. <laughs> I think that's it. Well, no, they give you about a bit more than... I was going to say they give you a cube worth of infantry space extra, but I think it's a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, true. The shared stash. Yeah. yeah. Which I think is fine. I think that's great yeah. because it just gets around what people are already doing in like multi, you know, multi charactering and that kind of dodgy shit. You do the same thing with that dodgy shit. It's easy. Yeah, without doing dodgy shit. <laughs> yeah, those Age of Empires 1 discs from, uh, from Nutrigrain. Yeah, so I had I had one of those discs up until we moved here. I threw one of those out. I got that thing like in God knows. Yeah, it was the full Age of Empires one game. 
on a disc. And it was like, I don't know, I want to say 2001 or something. Like, it was well after the game's release. Like, it wasn't a modern game when, you know, when it was thrown in the Kellogg's pack. Was it Age of Mythology they were trying to flog at the time? I think it was. They were trying to promote Age of Mythology, maybe. They were trying to promote something. I can't think of what else it possibly could be. Could have been the expansion, maybe? The Conqueror's expansion? But I suspect it was Mythology, because it, it desperately needed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I've got HD installed. Yeah, yeah, it was after AOE too. For sure. Yeah, so much later than it should have been to be giving away Age of Empires 1. I'm just trying to find this castle now. I used to when I was younger. I tried to get it as an adult and I'm like, this this is cardboard. <laughs> it actually had no flavor. Maybe that was because I'd since become a smoker. So I'd, I'd lost what little flavor Nutrigrain actually had. But I think they did like reduce the sugar in it or something to make it healthier and then it just made it hardened wheat mix basically. Yeah, exactly. If you smother it in something that actually tastes good. Wait, do we not have ranges? Oh yeah, can't have ranges. Hmm. Oh, of course, yeah. I had to use the... I'll see. Not at long distance. Oh, this we can.
Hmm. This seems to be over here. Look at all these dents there. Totally could have gone a saucer draw for breakfast. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, I'd say a saucer draw is actually probably healthier breakfast than a lot of things people have for breakfast. I mean, I literally had chocolate sauce on toasted bread, so... Yeah. The amount of sugar that, you know, enough to make it tolerable. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm sure the box that came in would as well. <laughs> Tastes strikingly similar, in fact. You know, from 2004 to 2008, they accidentally packed boxes inside of wheat picks and nobody noticed. Of Val Morgan. The Queen of Val Morgan now waits at our gates. The treasures it carries are most glorious to behold, but more important is this brief note from the Queen herself. She writes, My thanks for the recovery of. Very welcome. 